morning, good evening, wherever you're watching, and my apologies first, this is a little late. I try working a 12 hour shift and trying to catch up with all the breaking news today and the Premier League fixtures were announced Thursday morning and Saints start their 2019-2020 Premier League fixtures uh, away at Burnley. Before we get into the beef of the video, though this uh, video is once again sponsored by OneFootball, do make sure you check out the excellent free OneFootball app to be kept up to date and notified of all the latest breaking news. Once again, that app notified me first of all of the latest uh, fixtures and the uh, announcements this morning, but also uh, check it out for more of your latest news elsewhere. All the stats, the scores, all in one place by clicking the link in the description below to download the One Football app. So, as I say, then Saints start their Premier League campaign away at Burnley. A relief for me, in fact, actually, because it tends to be every February when it's freezing cold and we almost lose our fingers at Turf Moor. So, a relief to get that one out of the way. Every time we seem to go there, it is bloody cold so away at Burnley of course we did start at burn at home to Burnley last year let's hope this time round it isn't a damp squib and an anti sort of climax to the start of the campaign hopefully we can actually get across the line with three points uh, for the opening weekend of the season so I don't know about you but I look at the beginning the opening few fixtures the Christmas time uh, festivities and the fixtures around then too before or after Christmas and I look at the running uh, let me know what you look at immediately when the fixtures are released. So here goes my thoughts. And so uh, obviously Burnley away on the first weekend, but our first home game is against Liverpool. So it doesn't get any tougher than that. The Champions League winners, no less. Uh, the runners up in last year's table. But after Liverpool, though, we go down the road to Brighton. Of course, we won down there last year with an excellent goal from Pierre Hoiberg. But we do return home to... Uh, uh, a game against Manchester United, followed by a game at Sheffield United, which could be seen as a favourable fixture, if you like. And those are the sort of games, the teams, if you like, around us that will need to pick up three points. Uh, that is rounded off uh, in September, I suppose, with uh, home games against uh, home game against Bournemouth, and actually a new stadium for almost everybody, uh, an away game at Tottenham at the end of September. So how many points do you think should be a target then for the first sort of six games or so? I reckon maybe around about six to ten would be a good return, a fair return if you like. So a couple of wins, a couple of draws. I'd be quite satisfied with that. Uh, what would you say in the comments? First few games. So let's just skip forward through uh, autumn. And as I say, let's just look at the Christmas fixtures though. You can look at the extensive fixture list over on the official websites. But before Christmas and after Christmas, we are away from home. Aston Villa on the 21st of December, all subject to change, of course, and we're away on Boxing Day. Of course, we didn't have any Boxing Day fixture last year, but we'll soon see what happens with that. And this time it is Chelsea uh, just after Christmas. So uh, we're looking to hopefully go into Christmas with three points uh, taken away from uh, Aston Villa and hopefully build upon what the points we've already accumulated after Christmas. Again, we'll fast forward right up until the end of the season, though. Uh, I'll look at the run in here, the last sort of six games or so. Uh, the, the three of the first three or the six, if you like, are, are relatively tough, if you like. So uh, Man City at home, Everton away and Man United away. But for the final three games of the season, I think we should be looking at maximum points here. I don't know if that's an over estimation let me know what you think but we've got uh, Brighton at home Bournemouth away and Sheffield United at home in the last three games so hopefully look at maximum points there Ralph will want, to, will want to get to 40 points as soon as possible of course as I say all of these fixtures are subject to change and uh, it's worth noting that uh, the first set of TV fixtures and the dates uh, will be announced around July the 5th so for the August and September uh, games uh, so you can start planning ahead, arranging travel, etc. Uh, for the rest of them, they usually announce six weeks in advance. So uh, hopefully plenty of time and hopefully no last minute cancellations or postponements to worry about. Anyway, there you go then. That's my quick uh, review of the uh, Premier League announcement, the fixtures for Southampton uh, for the 2019-2020 season. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you look at immediately? Uh, when the fixtures were announced, the beginning, Christmas, and the run-in for me. What should be the points 
target this season. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts below.